Hey everybody, happy Monday. Welcome to today's update on daily IoT. I'm doing sort of a sprint retrospective today. I'm doing a two week sprint. I talked about this a few episodes back where I was trying to put a little bit more structure around how I'm approaching tasks, trying to focus to get to the goal of launch. And I just finished up what I'm calling sprint one um, just this last Friday. And so today, Monday, really Saturday, kind of started sprint two. But I wanna talk about that first two week sprint. Uh, it was really quite busy because I had a lot of personal things going on. I had a family reunion and I had another vaca day vacation that I took and so I was out. But I found that having a list of things like a backlog was super helpful to just pick, be focused on, get done, move on to the next thing. And so uh, the things that I got accomplished this last sprint, I got the Wi-Fi um, soft AP config stuff up and working, deployed out to Amazon, all HTTPS, so that you can configure your puck to connect to your local network. So that's all done. Um, just the first pass of it, it's not done, done. I still need to have some asset pictures and things taken when I actually have pucks to show how to plug it in and things like that. But the flow is working. Uh, I also got the landing page launched and started talking about it a little bit on things like Twitter. And we'll continue to sort of, I don't wanna say market yet, cause it's not really that, I'm just letting people know, just getting it out there so people can check it out and look at it. Uh, so I got that finished. Um, I did some research into local machine shops. You saw the episode on that where I've got a local one, hopefully, uh, in this next week or so, I'll have some shots from down at the machine shop. I don't know if they'll let me have like a little tour or something. I'd love to show you guys that if I can, but need to get them some pucks. And so I did that research and I think I've got that figured out. As long as they can do the pucks, we'll be good there. So all good things uh, there. Those were the tasks I got done from an agility standpoint. Also some great progress. Um, we got batteries in, did some testing on them to make sure that the discharge, uh, that the puck will the load that the puck will put on the battery isn't too much that it handles that fine without excessive heating. Remember, the battery's in an enclosed, non-vented cavity inside the puck. And so just need to do things to make sure that that's not gonna catch fire or get too hot uh, or anything like that. And so the battery testing looks really good. Um, still doing a little bit of discharge testing to make sure that the capacity is as stated by the manufacturer. Uh, so everything's good there. We got our first run of assembled PCBs in. Um, I'll throw a picture up here somewhere you can see that. Uh, preliminary testing on that is very good. The display is working, the LED is working. Um, you're, we're able to push firmware onto it. And so uh, still a lot of testing to do on that to make sure that everything is, is as it should be. Uh, make sure that we don't need to do another rev on the PCB. Uh, and so I'm hopeful that we can get to that point in the next week or two of testing uh, to see if we're, we're final on the PCB layout and things like that. Component selection all seems to be okay at this point. Still gonna do some current testing in this upcoming sprint uh, to see what kind of battery life we can really probably nail that number down pretty close taking actual measurements from firmware running on the puck. And so, uh, a lot of good things happening. I got a whole uh, an order of blank pucks that I'm going to take down and, and start with. Uh, interesting feedback when I talked about uh, logo pucks. Uh, several people said maybe just start with blank pucks, and uh, so that way you don't have to worry about buying the right teams and things like that. And so, not something that I had really considered because I'm really I really love having the logo, but. Uh, maybe that turns out to be like a specialty thing that I can do and offer um, sort of as a, a value add. But for the first run of 100, um, I think I might be leaning towards blank pucks so far based on feedback. So I'll continue to think about that. I, I don't have to make that decision quite yet, but we're getting closer. And so uh, that is sort of the the sprint one wrap up of things that were accomplished. I'm really excited and I uh, feel pretty good about the things that we got done in that sprint. And so... Uh, moving on to this next one, things I want to get done. Uh, I really need to get the screen graphics more finalized. Like I've just been messing around. You see the flurry thing. That's not going to be the final. That was sort of my prototype thing, uh, as well as uh, some of those other images that I posted on social media, if you follow me there, uh, that uh, Michael uh, sent to me. Michael, thanks so much for doing that. Also, thanks for watching. Uh, and so I need, to, I need to finalize what those screens are going to look like uh, so that um, that's just an important task. To get me to done and launch, that's an important task. So I wanna do that. Um, let me see, what else? I'm still doing a little bit of refactoring on the screen um, code and display and stuff like that. It's going well. Um, and I just remembered one other thing I got done was documenting how to run the unit tests. And so I got that done in Sprint 1. 
Uh, also for Sprint 2, I want to finish up the serial debug uh, module. I don't know what to call it. This idea that I can plug, somebody could plug into the puck and run some debug commands uh, with some instructions from me that uh, would help uh, debug any issues uh, that they may run into. And so um, that's what's coming up in the next sprint. I'll be talking about that as episodes drop in the next two weeks. And so uh, that's it. That's all that we've got going right now. Just a lot of things making good progress and we'll continue to do that. Uh, question of the day. I really, let's see. Favorite soup. What's your favorite soup? Stick it in the comments below. Would love to hear from you. Thank you so much for watching Daily IoT, the show where together we're learning how to make the Internet of Things one day at a time.